Hey guys, today I am back with a new video. I know it's not the Sweet Peach palette, but I'm working on it. If you guys want to see a video about that, um, with swatches or, excuse me, a look, I will do a look and I'll get it to you, but my friend got me this for Christmas. It was late Christmas, but I'm super excited about it and I wanted to share it with you guys. I obviously know there are a lot of videos about it already, but I think it's super pretty and I wanted to give my opinions on it. And that is the Alchemist palette. Wow. Thank you washing out the camera for taking away, there, for taking away the prettiness of this palette. There. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. This is high tech quality video right here, let me tell you. Um, no, but he got me this palette for Christmas and because I was thinking about it and I, wanted, I really wanted to buy it. But it was like, do I want this one or do I want the Moon Child palette from um, Anastasia? But that one was obviously more expensive than this one. It has two more colors, but the yellow is a little bit iffy for me. But then when he ended up getting me this, I was like, ugh, it's perfect because I can try this. The packaging is gorgeous. Um, I really haven't had any problems with Kat Von D. Um, so I was like, this is perfect. I did a look with it, you can't really tell, but... I tried to do lighter. That's not really me. I look weird. Mm. I also put it on top of my lipstick, which I'll have a clip in a minute after the swatches to show you. I put on like a medium to darker pink color and I put opal over top of it and it looks so pretty. It's like if you want a frosted pink, you can just put it in like the center or the top. You don't have to put it all over, but I did. Um, anyway, this video is just mostly going to be me oogling about it and showing you guys my shitty swatches that I made because you guys know I don't have the best lighting and I just make videos for fun, so sue me. But I don't know, I just got super excited about this. I've used it so much already, especially opal, you can't really tell, but it's totally like dug out and totally used already. Um, you open the palette and this is what it looks like inside. There are four colors and there's a little mirror which is cute in case you want to get sassy on the go. The four colors are green which is called emerald, the amethyst which is called ultraviolet, the blue which is called sapphire, and the pink which is opal. My fave. They're all super gorgeous colors let me tell you and they all have different payoffs like opal is, has much more payoff than sapphire which I think has the least payoff but I'm gonna show you the swatches first and then we'll get into more about them here are all the colors in the palette I will do swatches because it's so hard to show it off in the palette because they just like white and powdery but on the skin they look amazing all right so they're really hard to get the right like from here you can see them like the different lights of them but like my lights are more yellow so they're gonna look different than if you have like LED lights or anything but this is the green this is the purple this is the blue and this is the opal which is my favorite they're all really pretty I just think opal is my favorite because oh I just love opal but the green is gorgeous too but like I said it's super duper hard to get swatches of these babies but even in focus there okay so I'm going to take I think opal and put it on my lipstick I tried to pick a dark enough color where I could put it on to see if it would make it look nice I don't know if I should use a brush or my fingers but let's try with a brush first oh oh yes Oh, this is sassy mama likey. Oh, mm -hmm. I'll try to zoom in a little bit more to see if I can show you even more amazingness. I'm not sure if my camera shows it off. But also, close up of the eyes. I tried to just use the colors so you could totally see. The highlight, I used opal. Definitely not too dramatic. 
loves it. So as you can see in the swatches, opal is the most pigmented and um, the green is semi-pigmented and it feels like it's the less holographic. The purple or amethyst may not seem that pigmented, but let me tell you, I used it for the first time when it gave it to me on Wednesday and I put the purple on. Like I was like, oh, I'll just put it in the inner corner of my eye real quick before I go out to dinner. And as soon as I whipped that baby on, I was like, oh God, this is a bit much for the shadow that I had on. Because once you put it on, it turns into this darker, very gorgeous, holographic purple color. Like, in the palette, it looks so light, but once you put it on, it's definitely not the same. Like, you can't tell in my eyes. <laughs> you can't. But, um, the colors are just magical, and I don't know if it's just because I think they're pretty and <laughs> shiny and holographic, but I don't know. I just love everything about this, and I think people are going to argue between this and the Anastasia palette, but I don't have that palette, so I really don't have anything to argue it against. But what I can tell you is I love this, and I think it retails for $32, $34. I don't know. I didn't buy it, so I'm not sure how much it costs. But um, if you're into these light holographic shimmery colors, I think you would love this palette. Um, this is different for me because you guys know that I'm into the darker colors and I use the same three colors every time when I do a look so I'm going to try to use these to expand because I use it as a highlight it does depend on your skin tone um, this looks a little weird depending on what foundation I use since I am light and have red like this this foundation that I use is a little too yellow for this but I still put it on anyway like with the bronzer it looks nice but that's I don't really have a lot to say about this other than I really like it so far and maybe I'm jumping to conclusions and I'm getting a little excited but let me know down below what you think of this and see if we can find some varying opinions if you don't like this palette let me know and tell me why like I think they're very pigmented like when you look at them and you think oh these are not gonna be pigmented but then you swipe like, you swipe them you swatch them, you put them on, at first you're like, oh, that blue is not pigmented at all, but it's the lighting. It's the lighting that you use. So I don't know where that cut off because my card went full, because stupid me didn't delete stuff before I started, but as I was saying, the blue doesn't look that pigmented, but once you put that baby on, like, they all don't look pigmented, but in the, the, the right light, like, when we went to the store last night, I went to the bathroom, like, you can't see this at all. I thought, when I'm sitting in these lights here, I don't know if it's because they're yellow, but they reflected off the pink so well that I'm thinking, oh my god, I don't want to wear this out. I don't want to wear this out in public because people are going to be like, why does their face look weird? But when I went to the store, I went to the Walmart and the fluorescent lights, you could barely see it. Like, you could see the inner corner that I put on, but other than that, it just depends on where you are and what you're doing. And you can always layer more on top of it. Um, I think I'm going to try to make a look where I put a darker base down and put them on top of it to see how they look, like maybe a black or gray base, and put them on top of it to see if it makes them look even more vibrant, what happens. I'm going to check out some other videos too, because I really didn't watch a lot of videos on it other than like YouTube videos or pictures, <laughs> so I think I'm going to start watching those to see what they did and see how they did things, but I just wanted to make a quick video saying about how I love this because I did a look on it and I figured since I looked pretty that I would do a video even if it was pointless because I miss you guys and I want to try harder. I want to try to be more happy for 2017. Be a happier you. <laughs> but anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any suggestions on what videos I should do next or what you want to see, let me know down below. There's going to be a Sephora haul soon. Mostly probably just a Tarte haul because that's the stuff that I've wanted. I've wanted the Tardius Glow Pro palette and the um, Pro Amazonian Clay palette, whatever it is. One was the dual chromes on the side. Ever since it premiered in Bora Bora, I really wanted it. So if you have them, let me know if you like them or not. That way I, have, I don't want to waste my money on them if they're not for that great. But <sighs> give me suggestions on what you want to see. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm sorry, it's just like every other video I make where it's all over the place. And I talk too fast and I'm like, uh... But I still go, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.